Hi, my name is Ty Gay, and this is Chasing Hill, my assistant today. We run a certified training center for the Gracie family here in Edmond, Oklahoma, called Red Lion Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Today, what we want to talk about is something called the forced arm in guillotine. Arm in guillotine. Um, typically, when you get the arm in on a guillotine, it's, people don't finish it very well or, or very often. So we're going to show you how to, how to do that. So first, let's talk about it. <clears throat> First, I'm going to start what we call stage one. I'm holding the head and the arm of my opponent and keeping him down tight. This keeps me protected from knockout punches. Not punches, but knockout punches. So here I am. I'll demonstrate the move once, and then I'll explain it with just a little bit more detail. So what's going on is this. <clears throat> I'm keeping everything tight, but I don't want to let his head go. As soon as I do, he postures up and punches me in the face. So I want to keep that very close. I'm going to take my far hand, push on his head, and stuff it underneath of my elbow. Now there's pressure right there. Raise your head, please. He can't raise it up because I'm keeping this down. Now look at this foot. I put it on the floor, and I start to scoot my hips all the way on the side. I can't set up if he's too big, so I'm just going to start scooting on my side, on my side. Now, as I get on my side, I start to set up, and I scoot my hips all the way out. I'm still keeping pressure. All the way out, all the way out. Now watch, I raise my elbow up, and then I insert it, boom. Now his arm is in over here, we'll talk about that in a second. I rock back and put him in the guard, so now I'm locked it up. Now I can't finish from here, and this is where everybody has the problem. People try to finish like this, and the head goes pop. So we don't want that to happen, so we're gonna put our foot on the ground on the same side of the trapped arm, and we're gonna scoot that way. You'll feel your uh, forearm or your, your wrist go underneath the chin. Once it slips underneath the chin, then you can extend for the arm and guillotine. Um, let's t turn this way just a little bit because we want to talk about this angle. So look, <clears throat> the problem is this. I can get everything stuffed in just right, and I can start to scoot out just so, but his arm is close to me. This prevents me from getting my guillotine when I get scooted up here, from getting it in without, without his arm being in the mix. And he knows that. That's why he's keeping this tight. So what I'm going to do is I raise my elbow up, I shoot this through, boom. I'm going to attach underneath of his arm. The hand that's under his neck is a fish. Boom. Now I rock back, putting him in the guard. I have to scoot towards this trapped arm right here, or I'll never be able to get my wrist underneath of his chin. There. And then I can finish. So, last time. So it's super important that I keep his head really tight the whole time. When I keep my elbow tight, I'm keeping him clamped down. Now watch, I put my foot on the ground and scoot onto my side, but that's not all. I can't just set up from here. Watch, I extend my body a little bit. And now I can sit up to my elbow, it's easy. But I'm not there yet. I've got to scoot my hips out from underneath of him still. Scoot, scoot, and now look, I raise my elbow up and I shoot through, boom. Now I pull him back into the guard and I change my angle. Once I'm here, it's underneath the chin and it's easy to finish. This is the arm and guillotine from the guard and from uh, the punch block protection part that we call stage one of the guard. It's pretty cool. Hey, if you ever get a chance, to come and train with us here in Oklahoma, feel free. Literally, train for free with us if you come in town. So come in, train with us, learn some arm and guillotines. And if you can't come train with us, stay on our YouTube channel, Gracie Jiu Jitsu for Life.